Welcome back to the Presidential Commander Channel. I'm Darren. I'm Leah. I'm Embrielle. And I'm Azariah. And this is Commander, the, the star, star of the show. And today's video is called Press a Canario Pedigree. We're going to be digging into Commander's bloodline, his lineage, checking it out. Uh, we just got the paperwork in. Take this journey with us. It's pretty cool. All right, so we put Commander outside. He wanted to go outside and uh, bark. <laughs> so we're letting him do that. He doesn't want to be around for the research and stuff. You'll probably hear him in the background, but it's all good anyway. But anyway, guys, let me flip my down here. So check this out. This right here is Commander's four-generation pedigree. It also came with this. Baby, why don't you go ahead and hold that up? Let everybody see what we got there. Boom! We also paid a little extra and got the sixth generation, which as you can see is a large document. But we're not gonna be digging into that. All we're gonna do today is just kind of dig into the first four generations and uh, you know, and dig in and just have fun. You know, I, I don't know what people do with this paperwork. But uh, obviously, you know, for any of you guys out there who may not be Pressa Canario people, maybe you're just dog people, um, the Pressa Canario is uh, registered under the UKC. Uh, the AKC does not register Pressa Canarios as of right now. UKC does. So we got this UKC registration. And, um, you know, obviously, you know, I, I've, I've had dogs with papers before. I really honestly just looked at the names, was like, oh, that's a cool name, that's a cool name, and you know, whatever. But I want to go deeper into Beyond Names, and uh, and we just had fun, man. We just researched together, and uh, we actually, um, Amby, why don't you show them that board back there that we made, the uh, whiteboard. So check this out, this is, uh, this is how nerdy we got as a family. <laughs> so you can't read the handwriting, but we literally, to make it easy to read and look at, you know, because uh, obviously a lot of detail in here with the registration numbers and, um, you know, the whether they're champions and whether they're, they're a coat color. So what we did instead was we just made a simple version without their registered name, just their, you know, call name, I guess it would be. And um, we went back four generations and we found some cool stuff. Honestly, some pretty cool stuff. So we're going to show you what we found in Commander's Pedigree. For those of you who want to know, how did Commander turn out as big as he is, as beautiful as he is, and as pressa as he is? So, um, so we're gonna show you guys some stuff that we found. All right, so I'm gonna show you the parents of Commander. Here's mom and dad together, aren't they cute? Yes, and they made a beautiful dog. They've made a couple beautiful dogs, actually. Uh, we still stay in touch with a lot of uh, Commander's siblings, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, these dogs are owned by Gary Johnstone, uh, Gary Johnstone of uh, Homefront Presses. And a lot of you have asked me, where did Commander come from? You know, where'd you get that dog? Which I would ask too. I, I have asked a few other people that have beautiful presses where they got them from. And uh, yeah, so that's the guy, small kennel, you know, a breeder that's uh, just had a couple litters. He just added to his, uh, he added a new female to his program and uh, you know, smaller breeder, but big dogs. So um, anyway, so that's Commander's parents. Now let's take a look at some other stuff that's pretty cool, okay? All right, kids, so taking a look at uh, Commander's four generation performance pedigree. What were some cool names that you guys saw? Varen. Varen, okay, so she's talking about a dog named Varen. That, that's a good one, actually. Um, uh, he's a champion. So the uh, commander's got several champions in his bloodline, and uh, he's from Ultimate Selection Varen. And I have seen that on the Pressa Group's uh, Ultimate Selection. You know what's cool is because of technology and record keeping, a lot of these dogs we were able to uh, to find. So um, let me see something here. Let me let me let me show you guys. So I'm gonna flip the camera again. Actually, you know what? While we're here, let me just show you Varen. Yeah, yeah. Since the kids like his name, this is Varen up top. Up top, that's Varen. And uh, he was bred with actually Tall Oak Shaban, which created Commander's grandma, Karma. Yeah, it's a good name too. But anyway, um, so check this out. So this is all we did. And um, I think you guys might think it's fun. I thought it was pretty cool, but again, you know, kind of nerdy. But so um, when I said that you can actually see um, a lot of these dogs 
Uh, there's actually like registry information, which again, like some of you were like, of course there's registry information. I didn't know this stuff. Never looked it up before. But uh, I'll give you an example. Let me. All right, let's take a look at this thing. Let's take a look at this document here. Let's look up. Um... All right, here's a cool one I found. Here's a cool one. Check this out. Okay. King size Depressa Avangarda. So I'm going to give you an example. So I looked up this dog. I just put it right in the search engine. King size. So boom, I put that in there. Check this out. This is uh, Commander's great, great grandfather. One of his great, great grandfathers. And uh, this is him here. Boom. There's another pic of him right there. Here's another pic. But you know what's cool though? So check this out. Not only did he pop up in Google, but I came here, I tracked him down and uh, this is actually uh, raygladiator.com, which actually is a very respected kennel. Um, I love what, what she's about. And um, this is somebody who, if you're a press a studier, you probably studied her, um, or a lot of the stuff you read, you know, was probably documented she made. But uh, uh, anyway, so I checked this out. So I came down to look at the puppies, or the dogs, our dogs, and then there's in memory, so he passed away. But check out how bad this dog was. And, and they called him Kingo, I guess. So um, he was a bad dog. Check this out. In Poland. Champion of Poland 06. Champion of champions. Champion show winner 06. Slovakia winner 06. Lithuania winner 06. Stuff I can't even pronounce 06. Um, this dog won everything. You know, uh, Junior Molliser, Club Specialty Show, uh, I mean, just ridiculous. So as you can see, take a look at that. Go ahead, get that, get that, get that. Yeah, so champion stuff in his bloodline. And he looks like a thick boy too, you know? But uh, anyway, all right, cool. I just wanted to show you all that. Um, let's see, um, another cool dog. Actually, we, we have a favorite. So we, we were looking for dogs that resemble Commander and uh, a dog that kind of does, but we really, really dig this dog. So check this dog out right here. And by the way, this is the registry that pops up. So I just showed you uh, Google, but a lot of these dogs, if you put their registered name in, you actually go here to uh, worldwide, worldpedigree.club, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it's on there. I'll put the link in the description, I guess. But um, I really dig this dog. So this dog's name is Robusto, Temple of Pressa. Uh, and he is a great grandfather. Yeah, so he's the he's the great grandfather. Um, he was the father of Khaleesi's father. Okay, so on, on uh, Commander's mom's side. So I'm gonna actually Google him real quick. Check this out. So I'm gonna go to Google and I'm gonna put in Robusto Temple of Pressa. Tell me this ain't a bad looking dog. Look at that dog. Look, He's look a at bad looking dog. Look at him. That's a bad looking dog right there. He looks good. And I see a lot of commander, you know, with the coat, uh, the thickness, and all that stuff, you know. And I can see Commander maybe getting that thick because he's only eight months and you, you've seen him. But um tough dog, tough dog. Uh but yeah couple champions uh another champion uh let me look at this champion that is him as a puppy, as a puppy. that is him as a puppy he looks exactly like Here, here's puppy. him as a puppy boom <laughs> yep that was uh it's taking a while to, to clear up there we go that was robusto as a puppy <laughs> he looks like commander when he was a puppy um so here's a grand champion in the bloodline um balo franken de molinero okay Let's go to images. Let's check this out. Balo. Wow. Yeah, from uh, like Balo. <laughs> Grand Champion. Grand Champion too. Yep, yep, yep. Wait, and um, if that's him as a puppy, then like he markings as commander, but like when, as he grown up, he has like different like color. Correct. Correct. Really cool. All right, so 
Here's another one. This is Dagmar, Elpressa Grand Canaria. This is also, this is actually a great, great grandfather. But, um, I, I don't know. I just thought it was really cool how, you know, if you get a Pressa or if you're a Pressa owner, I don't know if you've uh, dug this deep into the pedigree, into the bloodlines, but it was definitely fun for us to do um, where we literally just went on Google. And a lot of times you can find information through the uh, pedigree that's on here, if not pictures. Um, but we got to look up the champions. We got to look up the grand champions. Obviously, uh, the one dog that I just showed you, um, King Size or Kingo, was like champion of, of all of Poland. And uh, so anyway, you know, let us know what you found in your dog's pedigree. You know, let us know uh, what you think. Um, let us know if you have one of Commander's cousins, uncles, brothers, whatever, and uh, see what we can connect out there. But um, a lot of influence from uh, Tall Oaks. Um, I see a lot of uh, different stuff. Again, Ultimate Selection in there, Ray Gladiator, uh, all respected kennels. So, um, Commander, there you go. That's why he is what he is. That's why he's, he's he looks so good. You know, he comes from great kennels. He comes from great line of dogs. And, um, so yeah, man. what's the favorite thing that you guys like about the way Commander looks? His face. Yeah. <laughs> I just love his whole face. I thought I liked his eyes. I thought I liked his nose. I love his whole face. I love his whole personality, but a feature that I love is his face. Mm -hmm. Love how he looks at me sometimes. What about you, Azzy? I love his whole body. You love his whole body? Yeah, there's a dog. Here, let me see something. <laughs> I love how he comes in and checks on me. I like his little peanut butter wriggle stripes. Mm -hmm. So, um, this is one of uh, his great grandfathers. Uh, this was actually a breeding that took place to help create Commander right here. This was Tall Oaks Rock On, uh, who was a champion, and uh, Tall Oaks Canella. So the two of them produced uh, Tall Oaks Taylor, which is uh, Commander's paternal grandmother. So, um, but I, I bring him up because that face kind of looks like Commander. I can I can see Commander in that face. Tall Oaks Rock On. I can kind of see that Absolutely. there. You see that too? Is Canella his grandma? Uh, Canella would be his uh, great grandma. Yeah. Yep, his great grandma. Great. And then, uh, she and then is. Rock, Rock definitely looks alike. Absolutely. Especially the ears. Oh, no question. No question. Here's another uh, great grandparent a pairing right here. That's the boy Robusto again. Mm, love and, Robusto. Yeah, Robusto. So and this is actually Phoenix Gold right here. Phoenix Gold. That's a, that's a great grandmother. So, like I said, there's like a, a variety of beautiful dogs. You're seeing different coats, uh, you know, kind of kind of some some uh, different structures, I guess you could say. But just one thing that's consistent is the beauty. Um, Commander's size possibly may have come from his grandfather, uh, his grandfather right here, uh, Tall Oaks Motorheads Turbo. That's Commander's grandfather. Um, they actually have him listed as a huge presser. Um, 202 pounds, uh, big presser. When you dig into this stuff, it's just fun. You just learn, you know, the, the names are cool. The different coat colors are cool. Um, the different kennels represented in here, the bloodlines. Um, <laughs> anyway, those are the dogs uh, within the first four generations that contributed to making our beautiful Pressa, uh, Presidential Commander, registered name Homefront Pressa's Commander. Commander, get in here, man. Get in here. Your people want to see you. They've been asking about you, man. It's been a couple weeks. There's Commander, the star of the show. There he is. Look at that guy. Look how beautiful he is. Look at him. What's up, Commander? And then you see those shirts? Check those out. The Presidential Commander shirts. Don't the kids look good? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching that video called Press a Canario Pedigree. Make sure you tap that like button, smash the subscribe button, and make sure you ring that little bell. Ding a ling a ling. Make sure to leave us a comment on this video about what you liked and leave us a comment for future videos you would like to see. And follow Commander on Instagram and Facebook. Bye! bye. See you, Commander. Or tell him bye. bye. <laughs>